What it is? One, two, three, testing, testing. All right, let's talk about batteries. Let's talk about the questions that we get about batteries. Okay, Alan Barstow. This is, uh, this is a recent one, 10 hours ago. Hello from the UK. I am using your excellent battery guys to build my own 1860 power Vectrix scooter. I already converted one scooter to leaf cells. A couple of videos ago, you mentioned that we need to build a holder for 16 batteries or cells and charge them. I have built the holders and I have also bought the same charger that you showed all good so far. I was wondering if you could show us the process of setting up the charger to charge 16 cells as the charger settings are very confusing for the beginner, me. When the charger starts, it reads LiPo charge uh, 0 0.1 amp, 7.4 volts, 25. Is this okay or do I need to change anything? I don't wanna turn it on and blow anything up. Cheers, Alan. Okay, so he's asking as to how to set, physically set the settings on the little IMAX 6 charger. So let's do that. Uh, I'm, I, there's also some other people that have asked uh, a clearer way of how to wire the thing. I think Alan was actually able to put the thing together, but some other people needed a little bit of clarification. So let's go on the garage and then I'll show you guys how to wire this thing and then how to set it up to charge. Okay, here are my garage. We have two chargers. I think we have one that is the genuine and one that's a clone. We're gonna run on both of those, but first, the wiring. So here is the, here are the holders that I recommend it. You're gonna wire in such a way that all the cells are in parallel, right? So here's one that I already did, and basically all the leads on one side run together, and all you have to do is run all of them. You just have to make sure, like they have, these guys have these little marks in their plus, and minus and then they have minus and then plus but the ones with the round thing are more pronounced and so that i like to use those and so all you have to do is you have to make sure that the plus are on both sides the plus are over here then you put this one on this side and not this way because then you're gonna get confused and so all the pluses on one side all the negatives on one side and then you have to make sure that your cables are marked that way plus and minus um, and so what you do, of course, you just run them all the way, you solder a cable all the way across, and then you go on the next one. And then you can do a minimum of, of four of these, so there's 16 cells when you do the max 5 amps. Um, right, if you set your, your charger to a, the, its max charging speed, which is 5 amps, then if you divide 5 amps into 16 cells, that's around... 300 milliamps, which I believe it's a safe, a low enough rate to charge a cell to be safe. It gives you time to check and come and, you know, touch them every couple hours. And if one of them is developing, one of them is bad and is heating up, then you have time to remove it and put it in the recycle bin. Um, as opposed to just keep charging it until it catches fire, right? That's how you do the wire. Um, you could use any kind of wire as long as it can handle five amps. Um, I don't know what the gauge is here, but just, you know, I don't know, something thick, even if it's thicker, it's okay. And you can put a, like I did here, a connector. You can use any connector. This is from the RC. I'll link these ones here. I'll link them right here. Um, I just bought a bunch of those and um, I use them for everything because they can handle, you know, high levels of power, but they're cheap and they're easy to use. Now, let's do the charger settings. So I believe this is the genuine IMAX B6, and this right here, it's a clone. Some people say the clones don't work, some people say that the, the, they're not as accurate. I don't know, they might be right. It doesn't really matter. All we're doing is charging the cells, and this charging the cells, they just have to be ballpark. Um, okay. So here's what it means, LiPo charge. This is what you want, right? And I think the first button tells you, yeah, you run through the things, right? It's like uh, load data. 
user set program so you want lipo battery that's what we're doing these are these are essentially lipos they, they behave this in a similar manner so you can use the lipo setting here so then you put enter then lipo charge right and so this is the 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 charge rate this is going to be this is going to be putting out five amps and this is the max that one of these little chargers can do you want that because you want to charge your batteries you want to charge the most amount of batteries at the same time so that it does it takes the least amount of time and so five amps then this is the the, the voltage 1s means one battery in in series and so that's essentially what we're doing even though you have 16 cells in the little in these little holders they're all connected in parallel so the charger is just going to see one big battery one big cell you know even though there's a bunch of little ones connected in uh, parallel and so this has to be at 3.7 1s and all you do to charge it you just click on there and it's going to ask you to uh, confirm the 5 amp and then the 3.7 and then you just I think you just have to hold it and then battery check it'll check right confirm and then you click it a second time and there it is um, it's it's telling you what the voltage is I apparently this battery is this, uh, this cell it's almost charged up 4.2 volts uh, and so this charger is not actually going to reach 5 amps but if we get batteries or cells that are discharged and this voltage is lower then you will see this current go higher so that's an, on the genuine one let's check out oh look at that that's what it will sound when this cell is done or any or all the cells that are here reach the correct voltage so let's do this one Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing. It's, you're running through the different types of chemistries that you can do with this charger. LiPo battery, you click yes, then you click enter, and then you gotta confirm the the uh, the five amps rate at which it's gonna charge it. Then 3.7, 1s, that's what you need. Um, you know, you can go higher this 3s you know this is for like multi-cell batteries and it goes all the way to six cells 22 uh, volts but of course we don't need that because we're doing one cell at a time or you can leave it on auto and it will just detect the voltage but you can just leave it at 3.7 1s you click on it and you hold it it checks then you confirm this one's a little bit lower 4.123 it's almost so look it's putting out one amp because this cell was a little bit lower and then once it reaches uh, 4.2 and the amperage lowers then it's gonna let you know that it's done so that's that's how you set up your um, IMAX B6 chargers I hope this helps you um, if you have any questions of course always in the description all right, time to try the Vegemite. Uh, okay, so if I'm right, everyone's saying to dig in. Just lay it on thick, all right? Bread. All right, let's try it out. All right, a little bit more. Yeah, I like the... I like the saltiness. I eat salty and sweet. I don't. It was good. Now, for the first time, I go to Australia. Now I'll know what I'll have to eat.